I've been reading dangerous books about the supernatural. Aliens and demons. Aliens and angels. I think I just made, I had some type of a realization. This guy wrote this book, Graham Hancock, is Definitely one of the more interesting authors, speakers I've known of. I actually knew of TED Talks of his before I knew of any of his books. This is the first one of his books I've, uh, I've read any of, and it was given to me after I brought up in conversation uh, some of my favorite TED Talks and Graham Hancock's band TED Talk being one of them. I passed out that night on my buddy's couch who, whose backyard we were having the bonfire at when I brought that up. Passed out and woke up the next morning to him putting the book on my chest and walking away. And um, I may have read it that day. It may have taken me a few days before I picked it up. And I haven't read it. And it's, uh, I haven't read it from the very beginning. I started in the middle and I've kind of skipped around a little bit. But, uh, yeah, his band TED Talk, The War on Consciousness. In it, he talks about the war on drugs. The war on freedom, freedom of information. Um... how they are related to the problems we have in our society. Somebody told me once I talk slow. They asked me why I talk slow. And that statement I just made, I, I can barely even take credit for. It's just my mind trying to follow my thoughts. And me trying to be honest, open and transparent with you. Uh, this is what I want to do. Talk about stuff like this. For real. Though. So this is pretty perfect. I know I've just been posting everything. Well, anyhow, now there's this. My assessment of vampires. I'm not sure if I mentioned that at the beginning or not, but... What I was thinking is maybe they are hybrids, in essence, hybrids of spirits and or aliens or of that species, of that family. You know, it kind of makes sense to think about them being, if they were to exist, stuck down here, uh, living fairly wretched lives, you know, off the blood of people and in hiding. You know, I could imagine them just like the, the books and stuff have them being successful too. Maybe they kill off bad people. Or maybe the hybrids would be different than vampires. Maybe they would be, or not just vampires, you know, maybe also Wizards, I don't know. All I know is this book is interesting. I didn't realize there was a scientist, uh, what's his name? I just Googled him, John Mack, John E. Mack. Apparently he worked in 
for studies in Harvard's Medical Research Center. Um, right? I mean, this is, uh, well, I didn't tell you what he did, I guess. To me, it's crazy to think someone at Harvard was researching alien abductees, but apparently he performed interviews on alien abductees or people claiming to have been alien abductees. And, uh, I mean, yeah. Let's let that sink in here consciousness there what I just said there was a Harvard medical professor interviewing people to have claimed interviewing people who claimed to have been abducted by aliens thought they had been now this is just one perspective maybe this John Macfella according to the author of this book I'm reading here Graham Hancock was not so much a skeptic as a believer. But, you know, maybe according to somebody else, this John Mack guy was you know, interviewing people because he figured they were crazy. And, you know, maybe he really did interview people, but maybe it was for one or the other reasons. I don't know. This is the only time I've heard of John Mack. That's what I'm saying. But from this perspective, I'm being told that John Mack interviewed a lot of people and, and, and I'm sure, according to this perspective, his work was controversial. He had to fight to keep his position and then continued doing his research and believing these people. I had experienced what they said they were, they had experienced that. So I guess he placed some of them under hypnosis. I don't know how you feel about hypnosis. Either way, what I keep thinking is the fact that people experience to have this in their imagination, their psyche, that's the telling thing. Not so much whether or not it's true or it happened. The fact that people channel these emotional concepts, they thrive on them, they love them, they hold them, they keep them in their hearts. Apparently, the Dalai Lama had some things to say about aliens. Graham Hancock and he sat and discussed the topic. And there's more to the story. I should come back to it, though. My buddy.